Welcome to the third and final bite sized video series for Garden Enhanced Nutrition Education After School, an initiative funded by the Napa County Office of Education with support from a USDA Farm to School grant. In the third video series, we'll get kids cooking with Jean by going over supplies and safety, kid friendly recipes, and family and community engagement. Take a look at this photo. How many different knife safety guidelines can you identify? Hopefully you noticed the type of cutting board, the type of knife, cutting a round thing in half, and using a claw. Those are some of the most basic tips for anyone using a knife in the kitchen. Did you know that only 36% of Americans report cooking on a daily basis, even though cooking at home is up to five times cheaper than dining out? One of the reasons is that a lot of people don't really know how to cook anymore. And that may be because they weren't involved in the process at an early age. Having the right supplies and going over safety are key factors to getting cooking with kids. You'll want right size kitchen tools as well as the right kinds of tasks depending on the age. Click the link in the slides for more resources on safely cooking with kids. Before you start cooking with kids, be sure to review basic hygiene, such as how to properly wash your hands. I can't tell you how many times I've seen kids put soap on their hands and then immediately rinse the soap right off. This video in washing your hands with purple paint shows just how effective hand washing looks. Ask your site supervisor or program coordinator about getting a food handler certification if you're unsure about food safety. At the most basic level, remember to wash all equipment and allow it to air dry in between uses. Store in a closed cabinet or container. If you're washing produce in the garden, use a bucket to catch the water and always rinse produce under running water. Even if you dunk your carrots or vegetables that have more soil on them, it's important to still rinse under water, running water before eating. One of my go-to lessons at the beginning of a school year is a tomato taste test. This lesson appeals to all ages, but the type of tomatoes you choose will depend on the age of kids you're working with. For younger kids, for example, you might want to start with just two choices. Select sweeter varieties or cherry tomatoes that they can easily try. For example, a red, yellow, or sun gold and cherry tomato are easy and require less setup. For older kids, select tomatoes of different varieties and colors. You'd be surprised how many people are only familiar with red tomatoes. You can simplify this tasting lesson by preparing the bite-sized pieces ahead of time. Tomatoes store best at room temperature, but can be refrigerated after being cut. Remember to always keep food covered until it's served and put any remaining produce back in the fridge within a few hours. If involving kids in the preparation, you'll need these materials for each group of students. For this tasting lesson, you'll first want to create interest by involving children in the preparation process or by asking probing questions such as, do you think these tomatoes will taste the same? Have kids wash their hands thoroughly, take only one piece of each tomato using a fork or pick to pick it up, focus on the taste of each tomato, and make sure you remind them, no yucks, only yums allowed, and have kids vote on their favorite. Never force or pressure students to taste. Let them choose and reassure them that it's okay if they don't like it. After each variety, ask, how did it taste? Younger students may need you to provide vocabulary like sweet or tangy. Alternatively, you can just ask for a thumbs up or thumbs down rating. After trying each variety, take a vote. Ask each taster to select their favorite tasting tomato. Make a simple representation of taster's likes. Invite them to take another taste of their favorite tomato. This video covers some of the most important features of a safe kitchen, especially working with knives with kids. Be sure to check out this bonus bite. I'm Carrie Stroll, the founder and leader of the School Garden Doctor, and I encourage you to reach out if you have any questions.